Now I want to turn our attention now to downtown Providence where our own 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is out at Waterfire. Kayla, how are you braving these cold conditions? Hey Stephen, well you know I love the cold, but uh, even I thought it was a bit chilly outside this weekend, especially compared to what we've experienced the last uh, several days. But rain or shine, water fire is back in downtown Providence. The full lighting, the first full lighting of the season underway behind me, and uh, it's just a spectacular event. There's nothing like it. Water fire is back in Providence with people from all over the state and country taking in the unique event. I'm just so glad I had the opportunity to see this. Diane Stackhouse is visiting Rhode Island from Pennsylvania. She says she's never seen anything like this. I've traveled the world and uh, across the country, and I would say I am just very grateful to be able to see the, the fire. You see all these families with young kids and they're listening to music, they're seeing the fires burning, they're smelling the smoke, and they're experiencing art and they don't even know it. This is the first full lighting of the 2023 season. Ed Cabral with Waterfire Providence tells me each year the event attracts about a million people to the state, bringing a nice boost to hotels, restaurants, and the local economy. Waterfire you know, has about $150 million uh, impact on the state of Rhode Island you know, economically and about um, you know, $10 million in tax revenue for the state, so and jobs too for the hospitality industry. The event is completely free thanks to donations and sponsorships. This lighting is sponsored by the Rhode Island School of Design, which is holding its commencement this weekend. Cabral tells me they're so happy to be fully back in action, especially after some tough years during COVID. You know, we struggled during the pandemic. We didn't even think that we were going to make it through it. Um, but we, luckily, we were able to keep the team together. We, you know, uh, pulled back a lot. We were able to get some ARPA funds and the city and commerce helped us a lot to keep the organization going. So we feel like this year is like everybody feels completely comfortable and happy to be back and bringing the whole community together. Now these fires behind me here will burn until midnight and again this is the first full lighting of the season. It kicks off more than a dozen events planned for through water fire for the rest of the year. We have a full schedule for you right now on our website WPRI.com. Live in downtown Providence tonight I'm Kayla Fish 12 News.